Hello, New York Comic Con. <laughs> I'm Evil Ted. So it says right here from the Evil Ted channel. If you guys aren't familiar with me, I have a YouTube channel by the same name and also a website, EvilTedSmith.com. Uh, I have patterns. And what I do is I do tutorials and videos on how to build stuff out of EVA foam. And in today's class, we're going to actually put together uh, a cyber jaw. I'm a big fan of cyberpunk and the game is coming out soon. So I want to do some cyberpunk inspired things. So I've made some patterns that are going to be in my shop soon. They're not there yet, but they will be available. So I wanted to share you, share with you guys today, uh, one of my patterns. So what we're going to do today is the cyber jaw. Um, I always think it's cool in the game, everybody has like different cyber enhancements. So today uh, we're going to do a cyber jaw and have that pattern. So you guys are ready. Let's get started. As you can see, just to save time, I went ahead and took the pattern and cut all the pieces out. Now, this stuff is two millimeter foam, but this is the particular dense two millimeter foam I really like. Uh, they were nice enough to donate. This is Cosplay Appreciates, who sent me some of the foam. So we're going to be using their foam today on this. Now I have a rotary tool and a stone bit. And what I want to do is that this is going to be assembled and some of these parts need to be beveled. Uh, I know for a fact this part's going to go here, so I need to bevel the edges. I thought about doing it, but what I figured is just do it as we need it. So let's go ahead and start with the um, the piece that's going to go here. I'm going to bevel it just slightly. Now what I'm using is a stone bit. I find that this works well with two millimeter foam. It removes the foam just enough. Very careful. Okay. Well, it's wonderful. And this is going to be the bottom of the jaw. And I know for a fact this needs to be beveled as well. So we'll go ahead and do that while this bit's out. I apologize for the noise. <laughs> Pretty loud. <clears throat> so tell you what, let's go ahead and start doing some assemblies. So let's focus on these pieces first. Now what we're going to be gluing these together with is contact cement. And since we're going to start with the jaw piece, this is the just below there. So we're going to apply some contact cement, just these edges. I always like to use a piece of scrap foam to thin out the glue. I find with contact cement, the thinner it is, the faster it dries. Tell you what, while these two pieces are drying, let's go ahead and apply contact cement to the bottom of the chin. Now, you can see our registration marks we have in the front here. We're gonna line this guy up just like that. The thinner the, the cement is, the faster it dries. There we go. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again. This is gonna be the uh, lower jaw, so we're gonna go ahead and bevel both the edges touching. And I do this because it allows it to um, have a little bit of a cleaner fit. All right, now that's done, we apply the contact cement. And again, we glue these together. Make sure you line up your registration mark dead center so it falls in place exactly where it needs to. Get that and that. And you fall on the, jo the jawline like this. Now the jaw has come together. We're going to go ahead and start adding the lip part. We have the lower lip and upper lip. And this part's going to go on like this. So again, I see that I'm going to have to start doing a little bit of um, some beveling. All right, now let's start gluing. And again, when I put the glue on, I only apply it to the edges I know that I'm going to glue at that moment because you start trying to glue ahead of time, you'll find yourself putting your finger in the glue and getting all over the place. So I'm just only gonna apply the glue where I know it needs to be. The other thing with contact cement is that the drier it is, the better it sticks. Again, line up the center mark. Make sure you get lined up properly, like there. Got it. Follow the edge. Okay, there it is. Looking good. Coming together. All right. Again, line them up dead center. Here we go. Comes down. 
make contact with the lip like that. Now you're gonna sometimes you have to pull and stretch because that's what kind of makes the pattern take its shape. There's a little pull and pushing, see? There's the lower lip. Oh, this looks great. It's really coming together. All right, again, this is the basic shape of the jaw. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some detail to it. And this is where the uh, two millimeter detail piece is gonna go on. Usually I can kind of just take um, a ballpoint pen and kind of trace where the glue is gonna go because normally you can smear, smear glue everywhere on something, but I always kind of like, like to apply the glue just where I want it to be. Make it less of a mess. So I'm gonna just like that one holding. All right, see it again. You can see where the glue is going to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue to the back half of this. All right. Now, I do this because I think the surface of the foam is really smooth and the less glue I can put on it, kind of sometimes the glue can take away the smooth surface. So I just try to apply the glue mostly where I really want it to go. And then there's a little bit of a chin detail piece right here I have. I'm pull the glue on this as well. Okay, the contact cement is dry. Go ahead and line them up dead center like that. Drop it in place. Line up. Got it. All right. Other side. Yeah, look at that. See, it's coming together. Now we have some circle details. Going this. Uh, on these guys, I like them. They're sitting pretty flush, but I'm going to go ahead and bevel the edges. Spread it out with the scrap piece of foam. Because it doesn't have to be super thick, really thin. All right, now apply the circles, line them up, right on the edge. On the edge, perfect. And now the glue is dry for this detailed piece here. We're gonna drop the right hand dead center in the front. There it is, look at that. Now, <clears throat> this is all the foam details, but I went ahead and used one of my cause molds uh, to cast up some uh, details. These are a little uh, from the gears, and we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, tack these guys on the outside like this, and this will kind of add a little bit of additional detail to it. And this we can do with um, with some super glue, but I think before we do that, let's go ahead and take the heat gun and just heat seal it a little bit. I got some uh, Zappa Gap. We're gonna add some super glue to these guys. We're gonna glue these guys down. Just like that, dead center. All right. All right, this came together pretty quickly. So what we're gonna do next is, I'm gonna have some uh, Platifex black. We're gonna go ahead and base this out black first because my plan is we'll do black coat on this and then let it dry and we'll do a little dry brushing to finish it up. I guess this is a, we just do a thin coat. And the great thing too about this is that this will do two things. We'll put a color coat on there also help me seal up the foam. All right, there you go. That's about uh, about three coats of uh, the black. So it's really black and sealed. Our next step is I got some Tamaya Bright Chrome and we're gonna do a little dry brushing. Now you can paint this however you want, but I just thought since it's jet black, let's just, just highlight some edges like that. Kind of get pop. Now, of course I am rushing very quickly. <laughs> to get this done because I'm for a workshop. But for all you people out there, when you're building your cosplay, please take the time. I know people sometimes get that con crunch where they're rushing. It's always good to have a deadline. But I always say with cosplay, start earlier. Don't don't wait weeks before a convention. I always try to do months before a convention. <laughs> try to plan ahead. Definitely. Therefore, it gives you a little more time to build to be happy with what you have. Looking good. So our next step is we're going to go ahead. Let's add some... Um, Now, some of you people out there with the makeup, you can definitely uh, apply this to your jaw with some uh, prosthetic uh, glue. We're gonna do little taps on here. 
But uh, since I have a beard and I don't feel like shaving, I'm going to go ahead and have some uh, clear elastic strap that I'm going to uh, super glue. And we'll Kicker. This looks pretty good now for the test fit. Dun, dun. My cyber jaw enhancement. <laughs> Again, these patterns will be available on my site. Which site is that? That's eviltedsmith.com. Uh, I've just like I said, the cyberpunk thing is coming. I'm excited. I'll have more than just the jaw of other enhancements, but stay tuned. How we know these are coming out? It's really simple. Go to my website, eviltedsmith.com and get on my mailing list. That'd be great. Also, while you're at it, go to jump over to YouTube on the Evil Ted channel and subscribe. Uh, the additional detail you guys see here are from my Evil Ted Cos molds. Where can you get these? At Michael's Craft Stores. Uh, they're available in their store. If they don't see them in the store, they're also available online. This is one of many different designs I have to add details to your cosplay. Everybody, thanks for hanging out in the class today, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your New York Comic Con. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you guys back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.